It's Thursday of race week of Donington. Just packing the car up. I'm supposed to leave at half nine, but it's probably near ten o'clock, and I'm not put any of our stuff in the car yet. But that only take five minutes, and then yeah, let's get on the road to Donington and have a great weekend. That's us packed. Shan likes to bring far too much clothes. Set of boots that were soaked from Bolton, leathers that were so soaked from Bolton, Ezra's bicycle, Ezra's in there, just waiting, Shan as always. Fish, splash, oh. woohoo! Press the little button. Need on the CRV actually, mega car, love it. We've just left home, we actually, home is now in Bristol, uh, moved here probably the end of July just before the start of August, yeah, so the end of July is just before the start of August. So moved there, or moved here then, so we're a couple of hours away from Donington, don't have a clue what way to go, so we've got to set up the sat-nav. But yeah, it's uh, a lot easier, especially with Ezra, because he's quite a hyper kid, and to have uh, no airplanes to catch makes it a lot easier. And also my brother Graham is close by, he's only like three miles away, so we spend quite a lot of time with him and his wife Brooke, and Ezra loves playing with their kids. You wanna watch Nemo? Where are you going to, Ezra? You wanna go see the bikes? Yes, so this is our second vlog. Uh, it might be the third one, I'm not sure, because we have done a few other bits and pieces. Um, <laughs> actually with Ezra at the pump track. I don't know if that's gonna be included in this or if that's gonna be before, Speed but ahead. I'll tell you it's all about it. So um, yeah, we're going to Donington. Donington's been a good track for me in the past. Uh, I've won most of my BSB races there that I've won and I'm really looking forward to it uh, this weekend and try to end the season on a high. The season had been going, uh, started off really difficult and uh, really from Donington, the last race at Donington until Cadwell, we've been really strong everywhere. We've been. I think fast enough to be on the podium. Sometimes we just didn't put it all together. But uh, now, um, after Cadwell, I had a little bit of a yeah mishap. Bolton was okay, it was a building weekend again, so I think now it's uh, time to be back fighting for the podium again. So fingers crossed, that's what we'll be doing this weekend. Uh, Friday, tomorrow, the weather looks a little bit iffy, but yeah, I've been fast in, in wet or dry conditions recently, so that doesn't really uh, change my mood so much. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Try to be coming home on Sunday with a uh, with podium would be fantastic and end the season in a really strong way, as uh, we've only got two more rounds to go and um, try to get a job to make sure that I, a job that I can be, I think, successful with as well. So ideally I'll continue with Honda, but hopefully I'll know more about that over the weekend. both have young kids or Jack has two I've got one and uh, his wife Lindsay works Shang goes to the gym and stuff so sometimes I have Ezra and yeah I think not that we get bored but we keep ourselves entertained by talking to each other and uh, yeah having an adult conversation with each other while you have kids is sometimes nice so Jack made me a, a nice music remix or whatever you call it I'm actually a country pop kind of guy and uh, him Simon Reid kind of yeah, take the mickey a little bit about my music choice. So the other day I got this uh, Spotify playlist set through and uh, it was made for Andrea Room by Jeff Kennedy. So thanks, mate. So romantic. Yeah, I know quite a lot about Jack actually. Uh, I know that his favourite meat to eat and his Sunday dinner is roast beef. He's not a fan of lamb, not really a fan of pork either. I think he maybe prefers lamb than pork, but definitely. Uh, they, even in hospitality now they know to make him a bit of roast beef for on a Saturday night we normally have like a, a Sunday dinner so if it's not roast beef he's not too impressed. He was actually at the beach the other day and I seen that his shoes had the, or he had his shoes on on the beach because he doesn't like sand between his toes. Yeah I nearly know more about him than I know about Sam but yeah that's a joy to be in teammates and uh, joy to be mega being teammates with him this year I've got to know him quite well. Both being ours, you would think that we spend more time together, but honestly, we have really not. Yeah, we always would have spoke, but we didn't spend as much time as what we did this year, so I've really enjoyed it. Andrew's got a 
got a prop. Okay, crash. It's like a little broke man, I think. I did shave my hair off that time, and then I realised that probably made him more nervous. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it's hey, like. I actually secret, got a really good haircut this time because it cost me thirty quid. Normally, it only cost me twenty. And the last time that I went, hey, there's your boss ringing me. Ian Wilcott. Ian, what's up? Yes, I am. Right, I'll come and see you in a second. Tell me. Cheers, bud. What are you looking for? Cars to make money on to sell the Ian. <laughs> That's your challenge. You can go and do it now. What is the 2017 Vauxhall Mariva? 37,000 miles. Well, would you, if you was a 17 year old girl, would you want to want the Vauxhall Mariva in there? <laughs> Selling bands, Liam Wilcott, is my daytime hobby. Shannon, I think I'm filming. Very good. We think. <laughs> Red Light would be filming, I would have thought. You definitely are filming. Is he mine? You're shattered. Oh, we're three seconds in our video in there. It's usually a bit of a delay, isn't it? Yeah, look. <laughs> bit of Paw Patrol. Again is I'm gonna give it stacks tomorrow. It's dry. Figure out the track. Figure out the setting. Get going. I'm just gonna ride as hard as I can, bro. I'm gonna give it everything. Absolutely everything. How would you describe the first video? I would describe the first video as. Yeah, big awesome. Awesome. Yeah, the, yeah, the uh, it was a productive there. one. I feel like we captured the. The vibe of the, the bros quite well. The bros. The bros. Um, it was short and sweet, quite liked it. Six minutes was nice, five's too short, ten's maybe too long. Plan today, FP1 still looks like it's going to be a bit iffy. Super sport just went out and they done a 1 4, I'll tell you not actually, a 1 4 each act was fastest, which is like 10 seconds from their best. We're out in 45 minutes. So I would say by the end of FP1 we'll definitely be in dry tyres, probably from the middle part at the start we'll probably go out with it either inters or full wets, I don't think we'll stick straight away because we only get two sets of dry tyres on a Friday, so you don't want to use them too early if it's a bit sketchy you're better using like an inter to do a few laps with, see what it's going to be like and then put in dry tyres and go from there, drive a good weekend. I crossed me, I saw me worse than a It's only a small bit of dry line going for me all here. Uh, ninth in the end. Uh, it was a funny one. The track when we went out was definitely still. I've seen the times from Super Sport, and this track's always really grippy in the wet, and they they were like eight seconds off, but eight nine seconds maybe off, uh, like a dry time. So I thought we were another forty five minutes after that. So I thought, oh yeah, it'll definitely be dry. It wasn't dry whenever I went out. I had inners front and rear. Most people had wets, but I just kind of persevered with it because I knew the track was going to come to us done like 15 laps which is quite a lot to do like consecutively in free practice one but you're not at high, like a fast speed so you're not really using much energy to so done that and then I went to came in the pits and made a quick rechange went out again and ended up ninth. everyone else about that stage to put the inners in but yeah I wasn't too stressed because now we've got I spoke about this earlier now we have two tires for epi 2 which whenever the temperature starts to come down the tires start to, to tear more 
So I think having two new sets of tyres for FP2 should be an advantage and will hopefully see us through to directly to Q2 tomorrow, which takes a, a big weight off your shoulders whenever you're uh, straight through to, you have to go for oh. Q1, which is then another set of tyres, which you use a new set of tyres in Q1, you don't have a tyre sticker for Q2, so it's nice to have that uh, extra set of tyres available. So yeah, hopefully it's the start of a positive weekend. Got loads of abuse on social media last night because people thought I let Glenn beat me, but I definitely didn't. I tried 100 percent to beat him. Not that it's just because of not just because it's Glenn, but you want to be on the podium. And uh, they thought, yeah, you're, you're better coming third than you are fourth. Not just because the bonus is good, but it's also good for me to be on the podium. And so came fourth in that one, came sixth in that race, was in fifth for most of it, and then there's what got me with two laps to go. And yeah, honestly, I felt okay the first few laps, but as soon as the tire dropped, then I felt awful. Don't know if it's a temperature, same for everyone, but yeah, something felt a little bit different, just not quite right. So hopefully, we can make amends and race three can be the best race of the weekend. Did a 27.5 actually, that was my fastest ever lap of Donington, so I'm fourth in the grade. I think that's underneath the lap record. Glenn done a 27.3, so that's a new lap record, so yeah. Our pace outright one lap's not bad, but I need to improve in the last two corners. Yeah, fourth in the grid. It's Glenn, Danny Kin, Tommy, me, Nesbitt, Ride. I think it was fueled by the TV, but yes, when you watch the race back, it looks like I'm sat there, but trust me, when you're doing like 23, 24 in the last three laps, I wasn't just sitting there. We pulled away from the group, which shows I definitely just wasn't sitting behind Glenn. And you know what, I don't have to explain myself to keyboard warriors, so think whatever you think, I don't really care. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, and uh, all you do is provide me entertainment. Peace. Say cheese. Bye. Guys. What are you doing? Are you cleaning? Oh.